Hey there champions, this is Mrs. Gardner and our read aloud for today is The Proudest Blue, a story of hijab and family. And on the front cover you can see that there is um, there is a woman that has on a hijab, which we are going to find out what that is for. It is written by an Olympic gold medalist um, and she actually won an Olympic gold medal for fencing. So if you don't know what fencing is, um, you should look that up after the book. On the first page, we have a picture of a mom and her two girls and they are going to a store and it is a store for hijabs. The proudest blue. Mama holds out the pink. Mama loves pink. But Asiya shakes her head. I know why. Behind the counter is the brightest blue, the color of the ocean, if you squint your eyes and pretend there's no line between the water and the sky. It's the first day hijab. Asiya knows it. I know it. We're sisters. The next day I wait. A new backpack, new light-up shoes. I feel special. I feel like twirling. Asiya comes out of the house and I stop. It's the most beautiful first day of school ever. I'm walking with a princess, so I pretend I'm one too, but even princesses have to stop to cross the street. Asiya takes my hand in hers and says, Come on, Fazia. We speed walk it. Fourteen steps, fourteen light ups to get across. Asiya makes me, takes me to my line first, hugs me goodbye. I turn to watch her leave, give a little curtsy to the princess going to the sixth grade area. She's easy to see. Her hijab smiles at me the whole way. My first day hijab is going to be blue too. What's that on your sister's head? The girl in front of me whispers. A scarf, I whisper back. I don't know why a whisper came out. I try again louder. A scarf, hijab. Oh she whispers. Asiya's hijab isn't a whisper. Asiya's hijab is like the sky on a sunny day. The sky isn't a whisper. It's always there, special and regular. The first day of wearing hijab is important. Mama had said it means being strong. I turn but I can't see the blue anymore. I run to the big kid's side, 27 steps to see Asiya. I need to give her another hug. I need to see her smile. Faiza? Asiya's eyes wonder why I'm here. Are you excited, I asked, about the first day of hijab? She nods, smiling big, and I feel better. Someone laughs from nearby, a boy pointing at Asiya. Why? Asiya's hijab isn't a laugh. Asiya's hijab is like the ocean waving to the sky. It's always there, strong and friendly. Some people won't understand your hijab, Mama had said, but if you understand who you are, one day they will too. In class, I draw a picture. Two princesses in hijab having a picnic on an island where the ocean meets the sky. The girl who whispered in line says she likes it. She says it's so loud the teacher comes over to see it. I wonder if Asiya drew a picture too. Recess time is for five cartwheels in a row. I land the last one near the sixth graders, near Asiya and her friends, near a boy yelling, I'm going to pull that tablecloth off your head. Asiya's hijab isn't a tablecloth. Asiya's hijab is blue, only blue. Asiya turns away. Her friends turn away. They race to the middle of the schoolyard, their shoes pounding the pavement, playing tag. Mama, don't carry around the hurtful words that others say. Drop them. They are not yours to keep. They belong only to those who said them. It takes me 48 steps to get away from the yelling boy. After school, I look around. I look for whispers, laughs, and shouts. But I only see Asiya waiting for me, like it's a regular day. She's smiling, strong. 
We crossed the road, hand in hand. I can't wait to get home to show Mama the picture I drew, to show Asiya that I'm wearing the same hijab in it. Because Asiya's hijab is like the ocean and the sky, no line between them, saying hello with a loud wave, saying I'll always be there like sisters, like me and Asiya. And this is the author. Um, I'll read this quick note. It says, Dear Reader, when I was 12, after I hit puberty, I started wearing hijab every day. Before then, my mother would have me wear hijab on special occasions and to school on the days when I didn't have gym. Having my friends, classmates, and teachers see me wearing hijab a few times a week made the transition to wearing it every day easier. Still, and even though my parents did a great job preparing me spiritually and physically for covering my hair, I faced bullying from classmates because of the way I showed my faith. I clearly remember one boy in middle school asking me why I was wearing that tablecloth on my head. It was at that time in middle school that I realized my faith had the power to change how people treated me and that I may be othered, all because of my hijab. You wouldn't think that a simple headscarf could cause such commotion, but throughout my childhood, adolescence, and adulthood, it has. It took me a long time to come to the place where I could brush off the looks and ignore the haters. It isn't easy, and I'm sure girls today face the same treatment, or worse, than what I faced. I wanted to tell this story so that children who look like me could see themselves in a picture book, a story of family, love, and faith, so that they can see two sisters taking pride in hijab and see that the parts of ourselves that might make us appear different are worth celebrating, so that children of color, Muslims, and those who are both, like me, know they aren't alone and that there are many out there who share our experience. Finally, I wanted to say it loud and proud, my hijab is part of me. It's a testament to my faith and love of Allah. It's a tradition I share enthusiastically with my mother and sisters. My hijab is beautiful. To the young girls out there reading this story who are hijabis, so is yours. The end. So on the back, a little bit about the author. She is a fencer and the first Muslim American woman in hijab to compete for the United States in the Olympic Games. She is also the first female Muslim, Muslim American to medal at the Olympic Games winning bronze in the women's saber team event. An activist, speaker, and entrepreneur, she has written a memoir, Proud, and inspired the first hijabi Barbie in her likeness. She invites you to visit her online at um, I'm not going to try to read it, but it is right here in case you all want to pause and type it into your browser. Hope you enjoyed it.